Well, Amanda, thank you very much for agreeing to take some time to chat with us a little bit about your experience with the Think Tank Thursdays. Um, if you could just start by giving us a little bit about your, your background and um, maybe why you decided to join the program. Sure, I've um, been on faculty in the animal science department for about 14 years now. Um, and I started out on campus. I was, I mean, the meat science is my discipline within animal science. So most of my research has been focused on um, meat product quality, um, but we've also expanded that out into looking a lot at how at how we manage animals prior to harvest and how that affects carcass characteristics and, and meat quality attributes. So we're trying to make better steaks and pork chops and all that kind of good stuff. So that's my background. Um, came to Brookings um, with a teaching and research appointment. And I was on campus, so I taught classes and conducted research. And then um, got married and my husband's family ranches north of Sturgis, South Dakota, which is about six hours from campus. So the university was good enough to work with me to shift my appointment. So I'm based now out of Rapid City, um, out of the West River Research and Extension facility in Rapid. And my appointment is, is high research with a little bit of extension. Um, and so I've, you know, kind of seen both perspectives of, you know, I've, I've been involved in teaching research and extension, and I've um, been on campus and off campus and had the opportunity to work with a lot of different people. Um, so I, I was really interested in joining the T3 program um, because I always think it's interesting to learn from colleagues outside of my discipline. Um, you know, you always find things that, you know, some commonality of, of what you're working on and what they're working on maybe has some, some connectivity. Um, and I think I, that's initially why I joined, you know, poss the possibility of, of learning something outside of my discipline that might be helpful in what we're trying to do and potentially forming some collaborations. Um, because the way I understood it, it was going to be, you know, College of Ag and College of Engineering coming together. Um, so I really came into the program, I think, with the intent of kind of providing technical support. You know, I'm the ag side, you know, I kind of know some of the issues and challenges that, that producers face. Um, you know, I also, you know, with an, with a cattle background, I thought I could contribute to the discussion, but very quickly, I kind of realized that this would be the perfect avenue to flesh out an idea that I've had for years. So maybe I was a little slow on the uptake. Um, I didn't really come in thinking, Hey, I'm going to get this idea cranking. Um, but it didn't take long to figure out that this was going to be, um, a really good channel to, to help flesh that out. So, I was able to work up the concept for um, the, basically a, the idea I've had is um, for ear tags that light up. Um, and that basically I think can really do a lot to help with sorting and identifying cattle. And I, as I've kind of developed the concept and shared it with others in, in the T3 group, um, you begin to understand some of the broader implications of and uses for the technology. So it's kind of grown beyond what I had initially thought um, and, and into Kind of a pretty cool thing that that we're hopeful that we can develop and, and commercialize to eventually help producers. Awesome. So you uh, what you had hoped to learn or get out of the program was re really more that technical support and and ended up um, being the idea guru. Um, yeah, I, I think I really went into it wanting to just have a better understanding of how agriculture that you know the ag side and the engineering folks could work together you know, learn more about what they were doing. Um, I honestly probably thought it was going to be something much more meat related because that's my my research discipline. But I, like I said, I quickly gained this a new interest in learning about how to develop or assess ideas and how to bring those ideas to, for it, through, to fruition. Um, you know, that's, that's not something I've had any experience with. Um, and you know, the, the T3 program was kind of the way it works to kind of step you through that, you know, every week was something new and different um, that, you know, was completely left field for me. Um, so it, it took some work to get to get myself thinking in the right frame, because I think as a researcher, you always want to approach things with a critical mind and, and with a research mentality. But with with a lot of this, you know, you, you kind of need to step into like the customer realm and, you know, what do I want as a customer if I use this product or what are the problems that I have as a producer and how can I solve that? So, 
Was there a, a certain part or a specific tool that you really enjoyed or it helped you kind of understand that business perspective better? I really think every week um, just built on, on my understanding um, of, of the whole process. But I, I think probably the most difficult weeks for me were the most um, eye-opening. And probably those were the the weeks that we worked on the channels to market and the go to market plan um before that it was you know understanding the customer and, and i i pretty easily can you know put myself in a customer position because we raise cattle and i know how i want to use this um but i have you know really no clue about how you would go about commercializing something like this or getting it to market you know who the competitors might be who who you might want to work with to license it so that really forced me to think about this idea from a commercial perspective and how I could get to potential customers, not just build something that, that I wanna use. <laughs> um, so the other part that I think really opened my eyes to some of the, you know, what's possible, I guess, was, and, and I struggled with it immensely, um, but, I, but I worked at it was the financial forecast example. Um, you know, that just feels like, you know, you're initially just throwing darts at the wall. Um, but that probably ended up being my favorite piece because it helped me to kind of think about the, the profit potential. And it, it might sound strange, but that's also what helped me develop some of the specifications for the prototype. Mm -hmm. um, you know, thinking about, you know, that, and, and maybe I was just slow, but that's what got me thinking about how many cows are out there and what percentage of the feedlot producers might use this and what percentage of cow-calf folks might use it and what might limit them in not using it. And that helped develop some of the specifications that we've ultimately moved forward with, um, trying to capture more of that potential market. Awesome. Did you have any other other thoughts or, or comments about the program? I mean, I'm sure there are parts that, that you didn't like. You got to hear that stuff too, right? <laughs> um, I don't think that I don't think there's necessarily any parts I didn't like. I think, you know, I think for me it was there were definitely weeks that were harder, um, but those ended up being the most educational for for moving forward with with the concept that I'm trying to develop. Um, the other piece, you know, I, I think that the hard part or the struggle, you know, again, as a researcher and, um, you know, I don't think this is unique to me, but, you know, setting aside the time to work on this, um, is, is hard. You know, you, you kind of, you're adding this onto your plate. It's something you're not comfortable with. Um, and you know, an area that you don't know a lot about and you've got all these other demands to, you know, write grants and get publications out and help graduate students. And, um, but I kind of felt like, you know, this is something I was really gonna invest my time into. I needed to kind of carve out the time and make it work. Um, and then just being able to reach out, and, you know, Jennifer was always available because there were, there were weeks that I called her because I didn't know where I was going. I didn't know if I was on the right path. Um, so that really helped to, to develop that relationship and be able to, um, at least make sure I was starting down the right path on, on some of the exercises, but, you know, but yeah, I think that was probably honestly the biggest challenge for me was just carving out the time. Yeah. I think, I think a lot have that same kind of challenge ahead of them. So, well, we I really, you know, tell Bill that we need some kind of a, like FTE dedicated to this. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. We're, we're getting more and more of those kind of comments. So, yeah, we can have that conversation. But well, well I appreciate your your time, Amanda. Yeah, I, hopefully this is what you were. Yeah, what you were needing. So definitely. If there's, I mean, if you need me to do anything else for the the current group, just let me know. Okay, I'm happy to visit with them. So. Awesome.